You know what's happening. Everybody knows what's happening. <sighs> to the Torchlight fans out there. Hello guys and welcome. New week, new stream. And let's just uh, jump back in to the game. You know, I made a schedule. Which uh, means every Monday and every Thursday is going to be stream day. So, um, for the next, I don't know, few weeks, you will see me surely on Mondays and Thursdays and occasional weekend streams if uh, the plan is not uh, tight as fuck, but right now it's, uh, it's tight. So, um, let's see, let's see what the dice rolls, but, um. I'm going to um, tell you if I'm going to be online on weekends or not. But, um, as you know, um, we are going to complete the game. And then we're going to jump to the end game phase where we go to the map works and uh, summon a lot of um, awesome dungeons with different uh, statics just to reach level 100 and uh, complete some achievements some um, achievements that I should have completed like years ago since playing this game like forever but unfortunately I could not complete because two reasons reason one I'm lazy reason two I really like to uh, jump between characters and I have like I don't know nearly every character near to like 70 80 levels which is um, not as far away from 100 but um, you know the last 10 levels are um, are tough to tough to get but um, you know jumping between characters uh, does not make it easy to reach 100 so I checked my um, check my achievements last day and uh, I realized that I have um, a few uncompleted ones uh, which uh, should have been completed a long time ago for instance besides level 100 like um, get a full full stat bonus uh, skill bonus sting from a single spell which, uh, unfortunately, I uh, haven't done with uh, any of my characters. So now, I'm definitely going to aim for this. And, uh, you know, max out uh, most likely Magma Spear. But um, we will see. We will see. But I think this achievement is uh, timed to almost level 100 or, or nearly 100. So um, right now, so the next uh, the next level is uh, going to be available at level 32, which is uh, almost here. But um, the progress is, uh, I think. Every four level, you can add um, add some some extra stat to this one. So yeah, definitely we are definitely going to aim for that. <coughs> but enough uh, talking of the future plans, and let's uh, enter Swarm Point to retrieve the lamp for the the entertainment loving genie who has everything to you know undone bad things and save the world but the only thing he cares about is basically entertainment so give him some entertainment ah I'd have sent you with some explosives finally some good news don't bother looking for the rest of the crew I'm the only one that survived there's something wrong with uh, some of the hives they seem to be infected you will need to locate the rigged hives and detonate them then descend into the brute hive itself and destroy any infected eggs you find Perhaps you will discover what has been blighting the eggs. 
This is a great task, but it must be done. We will be all be in your debt. Sure thing. Um, I'm I'm not a I'm not a phobiac phobic uh, guy, but the only thing I am um, I'm not fond of uh, are wasps, and uh, everything that um, resembles stray wasps. <laughs> so this is not going to be my uh, cup of tea, but um, you know. We are adventurers, we are heroes, so we cannot be picky unless we want to get paid, so this, uh, this will be a tough one. First, we have to reach the hives even before um, we can think about getting scared or not, so that's what we are uh, going to do. And uh, what other ways to start this adventure than uh, some annoyed Skara coming out from their pipe holes, pipe hives. I think we have a good amount of uh, potion for the start. I'm trying to keep my distance as always. Because these Myrmidons are summoning the roaches. No, no, sorry, the Myrmidons are the small ones. Uh, the Roach Mage. The Roach Mage is the one who's uh, reinventing them. Which is quite annoying. If you ask me. Is a penny click some escape here? But now that we do not have the, the small healing spell, we should really aim for a, another one because um, I really don't want to burn potions like hell this time. But if we don't have any other choice, then I'm going to. It would be nice to, to find some some heal spells, mostly like a heal all spell. Because uh, this way I can heal also, and also heal my uh, pet, who's helping a lot. And now we have the first champion of our playthrough today. Let's check the name. Let's the check the name. No, he's not. He's just a friendly school crusher with some haunted effects. Uh, school crushers are not friendly. Just look at the charge. Guy is charging like a bull. So, what's your problem, mate? Where are you charging? The... The Unborn. Which is... Uh, <laughs> which is quite ironic. Because he's, uh, he, he seems uh, alive. Well, alive. If you ask me. Hopefully not too long. But... First. Yeah. The Unborn is dead. Which is also a paradox. Because... How can something be dead if it's unborn? You know, some philosophy for you, like um, almost uh, quarter to eight. But now we got the level, so just going to get rid of my winged friends here and distribute the points. Like, um, as I told you, among the spear is uh, going to be the cha uh, choice here. Just pumping up some... I always forget focus. I don't know why, why can't I remember the word focus. I remember intellect, I remember intelligence, I remember wisdom, but with focus is, uh, for some reason, it's not... Uh, not a uh, easily remembered uh, attribute for me. I don't know why. So yeah, pumping up some focus because uh, it's kind of ironic that um, having more vitality as a Ember Mage than focus. Uh, kind of a shame. But it seems like uh, our last minute change to from the dual wielding ones to a shield wand combo. It's working nicely because 
maybe it's just pure luck, but uh, we do not get that uh, that kind of uh, one hit damage that I was uh, getting from from the other from the other playthroughs. This uh, shield is doing his job really nicely. Or maybe I was just lucky, but I hope that's not the case. See if I can. Oh, I can reach them. I can reach them from here. So, oof, okay, that that's not good. It's definitely not the distance keeping thing. Just uh, spamming some AOE to their face. We will see. It's done, but uh, yeah, yeah. I think we, we can. Uh, hmm. That's odd because for the first. Time you can cast. Oh, okay, you just uh, have to keep your distance to cast the AOE spell up there, which is a nice thing because this way I can kill them from here, and I also kill the Roach Mage, so he's not going to reborn, rebirth. Sorry, it's the correct term. Um, verb for that um it's not going to rebirth their small little changements so they are really annoying so i gotta say this uh, infernal collapse infernal infernal collapse yeah this infernal collapse is uh, working really well First, I wanted to redistribute the points that I spent to this spell, but I'm starting to like it. So, of course, it's not the fastest spell in the world. Uh, it's doing a really nice amount of uh, AoE damage, like a little um, delayed stuff, so you can time it. Nicely, like against uh, the Skara Swarm coming out. If you know the when to time it, uh, you can surprise them when they land. So, I know for them it's it's not a <laughs> it's not a good thing. It's not the best of outcome, but uh, for me, it's good. Maybe I should change some uh, some key binding so that I can use it more easily. But so uh, my experience that if you have uh, really, I mean, you know your key bindings well, changing them uh, makes the game harder because uh, you memorize that binding and um, you are using it from like memory muscle memory and if you change it do we have to take a few occasions to to memorize it well so yeah so I, I think I'm going to just uh, leave it like this because it's uh, it's working for now at least So yeah, what is uh, what's interesting is that a lot of Skara coming out, uh, they have uh, some extra attributes. Most of them are noxious or uh, or uh, fast or swift. Maybe this is a this is their territory getting stronger here or something. But that's interesting. I like how they got this uh, delayed landing because um, 
pay attention, you can, you can get away from them. Like, uh, if you, if they land on you, like 60% uh, of your HP is just uh, gone. So in this case, it uh, wouldn't be really good. I mean, for them, of course, but uh, for us, away. But I also have a, a uh, really bad habit of uh, playing ARPGs like uh, like this one. And of course not playing on the highest difficulty. What I like to do is, uh, is delay the potion use as far as I can. Like if I have only 5 HP, it's, uh, no it's, it's too early and I'm going to, not going to waste potions. But here maybe it's uh, just for like uh, not getting too confident after like 31 levels or so 32 um, if half of my HP is missing I feel the urge to to just u use a potion because uh, the, the uncertainty of uh, this, uh, this amount of damage that is uh, coming at you it's just scary, so I, I don't want to die, but if I do things like that, like just running up here like an idiot without... <laughs> it's a mimic, of course it's a mimic. So, um, now it's going to be interesting, but the shield is working. The shield is working very well, so I don't know why I didn't, um, didn't uh, pick the shield earlier, but, um, you know, it was the... Uh, charm of my gameplay so now we made uh, half of the map angry um, let's see how can we like um, get out of this alive if we can at all okay just uh, kill the twin diving It's kind of like a rhythm game now, so similar to like uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer without the beaty music. It's like, um, it would be really difficult to use your spells in a beat to this uh, this music that Torchlight has. It's, it's a really off-beaty, uh, weird one. It's not impossible, but. Uh, it will need a lot of attention. That's not the purpose of this music and game anyways. I'm just uh, rumbling around because this is also Mimic. What's what is this place? I mean, or maybe it's the same? I just stopped here? I'm not sure. But hopefully we can... Oh, okay. So um, most of these uh, scars are noxious. Maybe it's in their nature, I'm not sure. Coming out of these uh, pipe holes. Maybe they uh, breed some some toxin there. They look like a uh, funny crossbreed of a um, bat and uh, I don't know, some kind of bird. If I, if I would see one... Oh no, it's a different Mimic. Okay, so there were there were two Mimics here. Definitely not a good sign. But somehow, we managed to stay alive uh, this long. And as far as I uh, am... Um, uh, as, as soon as I said that, just uh, ran in like an idiot. Give them the chance to one hit us, but I'm starting to think that, uh, that the shield is working. Because when I, when I just uh, ran around, I was running around, um, did not get uh, that much of a uh, damage, which is odd and unexpected based on the previous experience. But, of course, as I said, it was with two wands in hand. 
and no shield. Monster Shrine, okay, we are not going to um, use it immediately because... Um, oops. Uh, just cast the spell on the wrong rhythm. So, how are they coming? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay. Noxious friends going there. Okay, handle them nicely. It's all it trapped. Okay, so it's not a mimic now, but it's also a trapped chest. So, kind of perilous. So. Perilous times here. Ooh, okay, a big plunger. Of course, a big pipe pole will hold a lot of angry scars. Detonate their uh, their house. <laughs> they will be angry, and I do understand why. Imagine just uh, chilling in your house and uh, some some idiot adventure just uh, oh, okay the. It is the roach mage we killed from uh, from uh, below. It was uh, kind of neat, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, just imagine that uh, chilling at home, your um, I don't know, family members or friends, and just some idiot adventure comes here with a big plunger and uh, blows up your home. I would be upset and angry as well. So hopefully that was the first and last time why we're doing this. But I definitely doubt that. Okay, so Monster's Shrine. Just a quick emergency sip. To keep the words coming. Monster's Shrine. Yay, it's the Golden Crab. Which means we are going to get a lot of money. We survived this. The Brewers are uh, nasty ones. It's just getting me like, um, wait, what happened? Is it a timer for this? I wasted, well, wait, wait, I wasted too much time. That's odd. But it just uh, disappeared. Hmm. Okay, better luck next time. Oh wait, that was the hive I detonated. No, oh, it's okay. It's not. Uh, it's not fast things. So hopefully, I. Yeah, I misinterpreted uh, the hive stuff. Um, they are talking about scaras. Okay, I'm not afraid of them. No problem. No problem at all. Let's see, much better news that uh, these guys are not uh, looking like uh, giant wasps with uh, poison in them, so I'm not saying that uh, Scaras are not a big deal, but you know, it's much better. So, just uh, detonate their homes. I did. Chilling on a Monday evening. Trying to watch some Scara shows and uh, yeah. We're just coming here and um, dis disappearing their fun. Is it going to be a mimic? And it is. Wow. It's a uh, 3 by 4 That's interesting. It is really interesting. Premium make a four, four chests. 
think I, I haven't uh, encountered anything before like this. But, um, you know, adventuring life is not about, uh, I don't know, cakes and uh, sofas. Just something at the top of my head that is uh, comfortable. Here is, is it a um, is it a uh, no? It's just a static, or maybe it's going to be an entrance. But I I uh, still still do not uh, own the right to to enter. So nevertheless, we have a last uh, hive to detonate, which is uh, not so far. I still can't believe like. Three chests out of four were mimics. Hmm. It's just. It's just. Uh, things random. I like you. Just discover every last bit of the map. Okay, seems like I've got it and some plunger. And plunge. Oh, oh. They are angry. And I do understand why. Yeah, now. This, uh, where we were before. It's the entrance. To the, I don't know, central hive, big hive, 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 you know, with the, the big ones, the boss. And we, we cleared the whole map and uh, almost got a next level, so uh, I think uh, this is a really, really nice pace. I know I'm praising this uh, shield co shield wand combination um, much, but uh, I think I should have done it uh, much, much sooner. Nevertheless, uh, we got our fame increase, which means we are honored. Awesome. Uh, it's uh, really honoring to be honored. You know? So let's check uh, where should we distribute. Um, I do like uh, I do like a defensive stats now, so I'm not going to I'm not going to um, increase them. Hopefully, it will be enough. But I'm spamming a lot of inter infernal collapse now, so. I'm just going to increase the, the level of it because more level, more damage. We have to get rid of these uh, these pests. trying to not use a AoE spell on single target damage because uh, it's, uh, I think it's not that useful. Maybe it's just a bad memory from like my MMO past where um, you were the noob if you used uh, AoE spells on a single target. So. I'm not sure if uh, it's true or not. I'm going to check after uh, this. Uh, were there any eggs that we? Yeah, no. Okay, we we, we killed every, destroyed every egg. So we should. Oh, okay, so um, somehow he landed a seventy percent minus attack. Okay, and we have the. Hmm. Are we? Yeah. 
you know, when you, you cannot uh, read uh, Baran on the name of the champion that is coming to kill you, you know, it's uh, something's not okay. Yeah, Baran on. Yeah, oops. Luckily, Baran on did not last very long. But I was genuinely scared because that was a horde just uh, jumping on us like out of nowhere so what I'm going to check after this encounter is uh, what is the bonus rank or stat or I'm not sure what's the name of this tier yeah of course, I don't know why I cannot uh, remember tier. So like tier 1 is blast radius increased by 5 meters, increased knockback. Burn time increased to 6 seconds. Ah, okay. Okay. Somehow I cast uh, that uh, stuff out of just uh, to um, not for nothingness and I also what is go oh. I don't know maybe it was a bug where I uh, placed my uh, mouse wrongly but for some reason the AOE spell just got cast um, out of the map there One portion left. Which means I'm going to open a portal and just go back. I know I know that um, Torchlight has this mechanic where you can uh, send back your pet, but in this difficulty I do not stand a chance against any of these enemies without my pet, so I'm not going to risk it. We are not rushing. We are not... Um, do not have like a party invitation or something, but I still encountered these guys, and I don't know why. So, oh, okay, um, that's not good. So maybe I'm going to run out. I don't care how shameful it is, because yeah, without uh, potions. Now, okay, now it's the point we are not crossing and way pointing back to Ooh, fresh. Cool. Oh, Selling uh, junk. Wow, we have a lot of junk and we basically do not have anything that is uh, not gray, which is, uh, is also kind of funny. Do not remember the last time we had this, but we had 9,000 gold. Not long, but let's go with like 20. Selling the. Oh, okay, yeah, the goldfish. I forgot about that. 717 golds. Ah, okay, that's fine. This way. Transform the pet and boot have it is. I know we are not rushing, but uh, we do not want to waste any more time here. Hmm. Nice borrowers. Um, doing some great damage here. I cannot blame them. They're just trying to um, save their territory. Which 
It's understandable. Oh. Somehow, I cast the spell in the air, but how? Maybe the textures are doing something funny here, but... It's no problem, but haha, now the coach mage is uh, leading the party over there. Be awesome just to like get it because if we don't, it's going to reanimate. Okay, it's not going to reanimate anything anymore. Uh, narrow pathways are nightmares. So. These kind of enemies in my back. But now it's clear, and I'm going to distribute points, giving some to focus and also should we I mean charge mastery that just uh, give it to charge mastery who cares charge mastery is always good now hopefully we can enchant the uh, okay but uh, not without dying Somehow, yeah, I managed to equip my uh, my main weapon while I wanted to like enchant it. Almost five thousand golds. That's new enchantment. Thanks, random. Okay, wasted uh, a lot of gold on basically nothing because we will have 4% extra damage while dual wielding and we are not dual wielding since we are weaving, wielding a shield next to our wand to stay alive. So... That's a shame, but... You know, random is random, so... There is uh, no point in disappointment, so... Cool. Now, um... I'm almost 100% possible that... Or sure, not possible, sure. That if uh, we detonate the free, free piles of eggs, um, a boss is going to be summoned so I'm trying first I'm trying to haha no because I cast AoE spells just kill everything around it so that's not how it works unfortunately nevertheless some extra difficulty 
The only thing I miss here is uh, our cat is just jumping here. I know. I don't know, strolling through my keyboard. I love killing this boss, but... Uh, it's not working like this. If I uh, if I summon her, she's not coming. But if I say that everything's fine and um, you know stuff like that, he's going to come. So I'm not saying anything. It's my uh, new tactics. I'm not sure if uh, it's possible to get rid of all the enemies here. Or killing the boss. Maybe it's summoning them? Not sure. These are just uh, mere speculations, but... What's funny is uh, it's also trapping the enemies. Oh, that's kind of fun. Okay, the Roach Mage should be killed as soon as possible. We do not need more roaches here. Unless it's a uh, Geralt's horse, of course. But unfortunately, that's not the case here. Now the roach mage is done. And the Den Brower, doing Mother, should be killed next. Please run, don't kill. Just run if I, I press the button. Kill. <laughs> Seems like uh, the boss is uh, summoning the Skaras. So I won't be able to. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of looked away for a minute, minute, a second, a mere second, and uh, they bested me. Okay, nevertheless, it's uh, only one, one death, and uh, we're streaming almost like uh, 45 minutes. It's a really good, really good ratio. Sip to increase my stats. Let's see if other enemies are still lurking here. Because if yes, maybe we can get rid of them first. Salamanders. They are absolutely resistant to fire. Which also best thing for us. Of course. But luckily they are um, not the most common enemies of the game. Would be quite a shame. Okay, so it seems like we've got um, 
rid of all these um, annoying enemies. Now we only have to survive the big hawks attacks. And also the Skaras that are getting summoned by him. Or it. I don't know. Maybe it's a she or an it. Not sure. Trying to dodge his uh, attacks, but it's not the easiest to do it. Oof. Hmm. Like uh, three potions left. Let's see what we can do with. Ah, okay, he's definitely summoning the scars. Okay, what, um, what I'm going to try is uh, not standing in a uh, same position, but um, uh, if he, he attacks us, okay, no problem. So what I'm trying to do is uh, just running around, doing the UE stuff, not standing in its way. Using the advantage that uh, we are fast and it's slow. It's really, really slow. And uh, we have AoE spells. You can just harass it. Like uh, distance. Quite good distance. But we have to deal with the winged imps. Too many of them is coming at the same time. We are doomed. Just like now. Yeah, I mean, like 1 HP. Yeah, I think it's uh, going to be. Uh, okay, now we have a. Okay, heal potion. Maybe not everything's lost. For instance, if my character is uh, not trying to hit me, I mean, thin air, and just like moving away, moving away, if I click that direction with the left mouse. But, um, you know, who am I to judge? You want to attack thin air? Just do it. Yeah, only like twenty percent of its health left, so we're doing great. Much better than usual. I really starting to think that uh, the shield is the answer for for all the all the improvements you're seeing maybe I learned how to play oh no that's uh, that's not something I would say so no the shield definitely the shield Okay, just looting the random gold here. It's too late, Hawk. We have the speed. Aha, we are going to die again, are we? Way 
managed to survive. Nevertheless, we've got uh, trapped by the stone stuff, pillars, a lot of enemies. My character also got stuck and uh, started to hit the pillars. But I did not even click on them. Advertisements, the smaller. Uh, okay. You have really good. Quest. Now, that was not easy. It was not easy at all. There's like two deaths. Yeah, okay, yeah, the, the two, two deaths on the boss. And no boss chest. No anything. No nothing. Yeah. Okay, let's just... Oh, -ho, just smash the eggs. And I think... Here is the... You know, the secret... Um, the secret uh, room. To find uh, the second part of the robot we are looking for. Hold the, yeah, the robotic pipes. Yes, awesome. Um, this is the beneficial thing of um, just uh, destroying and looting everything. Because to frankly say that I I was not remembering where should where the the second part should be. So so yeah. That was, uh, that was great. It's a mere consequence, but nevertheless, it's done. So. We looted. Hmm. We looted something, which is better than ours, but 1% um, all damage. Cool. More damage is always good. Fortunately, the other two elements are useless because we do not use poison and ice. But uh, you, we cannot have it all, right? And if I see it correctly, did not uh, explore the upper part of the map. So we're definitely going to do that. Before we enter to the other parts, where we have the quest because it's from level 33 to level 35 maybe we can get another level for entering and it would be really nice 
not to enter on the minimal level. Minimal recommended level on an area. Our old fan, the specter is here. With the swarms over there. Wow, and uh, we also have a quest here. Seems like a standard side quest, just uh, saving someone. Horn more. is our champion here. With a uh, good old Petrifying Gaze. I'd rather dodge if I can. Some uh, some useless uh, gray stuff, but you know it's good for selling. Maybe this is the only game where it uh, it's a good idea to to pick up junk and sell it. So every other ARPG I tried. Um, they always recommend the loot filter um, with the option of uh, ignoring the, the simple grey items or in the end also the blue items no, the green items always mixing it up, so ignoring the green items just got mean the funny awesome He just. Uh... Oh, we also left the face portal. So. So we're also going to do that. And for some reason, I mixed up the quest. So, what we are going to do now is the first task of the genie. And the other was just simply that they need the hives to help the guy before a swarm point. Uh, so yeah, I mixed it up, but... It was fun as well. I was thinking that we are going to get the lamp, but um, yeah. Another ramp portal. Sounds promising. Clear, let's check the quest. I am called the Faithless King and I have resided here since the Zerafi and Ezrahir were, uh, were one race. It has been my dream to unite them by accessing the Vault of Souls, but the Vault will not open without the Mass of the Royal Line, which were stolen from me ages ago. If you can locate the Royal Masks and return them to me, I can praise the Eternal Palace, unlock the Vault of Souls, and renew the Seraphi and the Zeroir. Please, my mortal friend, help me and end this war. Help me end this war. Um, so, someone's called the Faceless King. Maybe it's just me. I am the, the, the suspicious, suspecting, uh, paranoid guy, but really? Faceless. The dude is called the Faceless King. Uh, isn't it uh, suspicious at all? No. Maybe. We will see. Maybe it's just me. Okay, good old nest. I was, uh thinking about what am I missing what am I missing and uh, 
Nice, uh, nice sand rat nest. Without the endless swarms. Ah, oh, the charge boys, yeah. The school crusher fellas. Okay. Okay, we have them. But it was tough. It was tough. No worries. Okay, here's the bitter spray. Now we have the key. We're going to have the key. Or the golden chest, which uh, we exactly know where it is, so. Going to open it. First. Finish the exploration here. Hmm. How did. These cool school crushers, I mean. Seems like they're ignoring her nice shield. Holding it up to like, dude, please crush the shield. Hit the shield, but he's just uh, he's just ignoring it. I think he's really rude. He should hit the shield. Okay, now it is uh, explored. So um, let's uh, let's open the golden chest. Let's check if uh, something's uh, valuable in there. Oh, let's see. He's a champion that we forgot. Gosh, our ghoul. Yeah, uh, this is where we died last time, though, where I uh, made some Rosh al Ghul familiar stuff. That was my punishment, making that uh, shitty joke staying here. Yeah, now, now he's dead, so it's ev everything's fine. Okay, so let's go for the golden chest. Hoping for some nice thing that is uh, useful. No, it's not. It is not. Hmm. Like, uh, Forty percent cast speed, but yeah. I, our necromis uh, cap is just, just the best right now. So we do not want to change it. Uh, you have to ex excuse me for a moment because it's uh, getting chilly here and just uh, getting my zipper. Uh, go on. So, um, 
we have another quest from the Faceless King. Sure. We're definitely going to to check out. But first we're going to check out the level requirement we need for that. Oh, here's the horn I was uh, remembering. Um Razal and Guardian of Wars. Okay, who's summoning some angry zombies? Angry zombies. Bad, bad. Okay, Umzaral is dead. Now the Guardian of Paris. It's the fall. But it's uh, summoning some. Some nice minions again. I did not remember this place for this uh, fight. Now we um which level? The mask of the mask of Vizier. Cool. Oh. Now we can increase our focus again, and uh, I'm just going to to increase the Infernal Collapse level because it's okay. Um, was that a part of uh, Garak Tide? He's also a champion. Lightning spells. Okay, it seems like it was uh, the first part of a quest. Maybe I was um, paying attention and uh, did not see the the sign on the map. That uh, this is uh this is our quest. One of the quests. Mobs and minions. But since it was a mask, I, I'm guessing it was so yeah, it, it's also includes a horn, so I was just lazy and uh, did not uh, paying attention. Guardian of Kings. He's also rocking fire magic. The good thing is uh, that he's not uh, immune to this. Uh, that would be a shame. Yeah. Killing him with the uh, auto attacks. And it's possible, but uh, it takes a lot of time and uh, much more annoying. Uh, I mean boring and annoying as well okay cool now we had the uh, mask of kings only thing we need is the mask of um, um it only says the royal so I don't know mask of um, masks <laughs> Just a random silly guess. Seems like we discuss our boots. Now we have the what is equipped as uh, level thirty three, so we're not going to change it for sure. Some undiscovered bird stuff. Some good enemies here. Good friends, good winged friends. 
not the last one. I'm going to replace the map just to see anything. Oh, okay, everybody's uh, casting fire spells. First, we have to get rid of these uh, pyromancers. We don't want to get burnt alive. damage. Oof. Yeah, this is the, the ray that he's using, which is kind of a bursty one. Since we completed it, let's just uh, let's just run back to our our faceless king and uh, just to present him the masks we have. Let's see what he has to say about all this. Reuniting the people with the Seraphi and uh, the Excellent, you have returned the royal mask. Soon the Ezrohir and Seraphi shall once again bow before me, and I will unite their forces into an unstoppable army that shall sweep into Styria and lands beyond and consume every lingering shard of ember. We will conquer all of Vildaran, then across the sea. And enslave your primitive human empire. You will toil in the minds of a thousand generations and ensure that your master rules for eternity. Wait here, human, and rejoice. Once I have reclaimed my power from the Vault of Souls, I shall make you the first of my dynasty of slaves. Who would have guessed? I like to emphasize the faceless. Um, when it's something that is faceless, is uh, is good, or or have uh, pure intentions. Maybe I uh, I've just read too many fantasy novels and uh, played too much uh, RPGs, but faceless is never good. Trust me, never, never ever. Okay, the band, but the bandit faceless is good, but it's in a different way, different good. So yeah, now, um, hmm, should we, I mean, no, what we're going to do is just, uh, just, uh, go and, uh, get the first, uh, the first uh, the lamp for the genie, and, uh, thinking about the inevitable destruction of our, uh, Primitive human kingdoms, as the, the good man just uh, said. But do we have a quest here? Seems like that. Raf, you've eliminated the problem. Wonderful. If you hadn't been victorious, the blind might have spread to other hives in the barrens. I've spoken to Yasha about the deeds, and she would like to invite you into our trading circle. You may now purchase raid items from her at the at the discount, of course. Thank you, traveler. You have done us a great service. How nice of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, and you destroyed so many eggs. Here's a bonus. Hmm. Destroying bonus. 
you get a discount because you've done the quest and now you get a bonus of destruction. Um, is it uh, good or what? So, uh, yeah, he is uh, free, definitely. Adventuring, knowledge improves the potency of potions, increases the rate of experience and fame gain, and reduces resurrection penalties. Only one rank. A. that's a tough choice. Summon zombies out of the question. Adventuring or he herself. So, um, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to roll the die. Because I do not know what should I choose. So, one, two, three is adventuring. Four, five, six is heal self. So, let's the die decide. Free. So, we are going to choose adventuring free. She's good. She's really good. And it's a passive skill that is always enabled. 3% increased amount of experience gained, 3% of fame gained, and plus 24 ocean effectiveness percentage. Awesome. Greetings. Truly awesome. Okay, um, yeah, just, uh, just keeping this, selling all the junk, and let's see what we can buy with a big, big discount. Elemental Overload, the caster is imbued with increased elemental damage strength. Hmm, sure. Something we need, but it's like 10,000 golds. What the hell? Okay, we... We have to work for this. To afford it. But, but yeah. What's, uh, what's going to happen is... Uh, we're just going to retrieve. We're just going to retrieve the lamp. The faceless king can wait, but... I also forgot to to buy some potions. Uh, not potions. Do you know the, the scroll stuff? We can uh, come back to town. So like, free is enough. Free is more than enough. So, just uh, some pet transformation. And now we are going. So, honestly, I do not remember the, the two other quests. I also did not remember the lamp part with the genie. I, I remember there's a djinn uh, who's we are going to help, but I, I totally did not remember the the lamp part so enter the ancient vaults of chaos no it's a different place uh, okay it must be above because or so wait a second I just uh, came to the wrong place no it's up here okay cool for some reason I thought I uh, came in the wrong direction, but but it's good. Now, okay, the adventuring stuff is uh, is active. Okay, good. Oof, of course. Taragar is just uh, jumping in my face. No, we have a blue chest here. Is it going to be a mimic? No, it's not. Wow. Now that is surprising. Aruk the Cruel. 
so he must uh, having the lamp. Hmm. One hitting with a uh, nice trap stuff. Good job, guys. Good job indeed. Know what's going to happen? Kite. You like kites, Aruk? So you, you, you will have some. Seems like the traps are uh, made by other. They're the small, smaller ones. So maybe we keep him here. So these uh, <laughs> few few rare occasions when uh, WASD would be much easier for this game, like kiting and uh, getting the line of sight with uh, dodging with the mouse clicking. It's a, a different level, but it's still manageable. Just. A bit uncomfortable. Ugh. Cool. It uh, required some muscle work for my for my shoulders. Arok's advisor. Yeah, I think uh, he was the, the trapper. Yeah. Maybe not. Ooh, okay. It's, uh, too much, too much, too much. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you um got trapped here, <laughs> basically, um, 100% chance of dying. Good. Now, it's trapped, of course. Let's, um, let's focus them out one by one. This is the, the ultimate tactic. Seems it's very difficult. Yeah. He's using one. Uh, okay, maybe he's not the, the trapping guy. We should um, get him. Cause he's resurrecting them. Which is, uh, which is annoying. It's really annoying. Still hit uh, pretty hard. Wow, I'm gonna run down to Doris instead on the boss. So, uh, if something would uh, cause like a fame decrease in this game kind of uh, deeds would be the perfect example like uh, dying on uh, small small enemies instead of uh, dying on the boss wow what the hell was that I mean this is just ridiculous Who was doing the traps? Fire Nova, Fire Bolts. He's not doing it. I 
Okay, yeah, yeah. Got him out there, so. This will be easier. Now he's uh, going back. Why? Why my man is uh, getting burnt? I'm not sure. Yeah, he's siphoning it. I don't think so. Okay, now he's done, so let's check who's uh, summoning the traps. No, he's just summoning the annoying tornadoes. Now, good. Okay. We cleared the whole stuff. Um, we got the lamp. Let's just uh, go back to the genie, my friend. Enjoying your nap, hopefully. Yeah, so um, dying more on like, random odds than on bosses. That's uh, kind of disappointing, but. Um, and ironic. Yeah. That's just uh, elite. Seems like that. But now we have the first switch of our genie here, which means uh, taking back the lamp. And uh, let's see what other request he has. So, yeah. Okay, so amusement now counts as uh, something that does not have a property, a proper purpose. It's just uh, looking great. Awesome. To survive, okay. Yeah, so basically, um, he said uh, it uh, doesn't prove anything because uh, I would have uh, killed these uh, guys eventually, so this is not uh, proving. Awesome. Now, I'm um, just going to sell the, the random stuff. Then buy more potions because he said now the key is to survive. The 20 potions should be enough. And uh, hit me. Hit us with this uh, survival thing. Good. Oh, okay. Mm, he's. He, the uh, luminous stuff where you have to like follow the the lamps the lights but if you if you go out uh, you will take damage now that was uh i was talking about like i don't know a few streams before okay like, uh, i'm not sure how i'm going to solve this but we will see. We will see. And yeah, the platform is building. Let's see. I just uh, stepped out for like one toe and uh, a damage. So, so while the enemies are coming, somehow I have to kill them, and they also stay in the light because if I do not do this, they will. I'm going to die. Seems like I'm going to die anyways. Based on the damage, as I told you. 
Now, this is going to be funny. This is also a champion. Foot licker. Foot kicker. Okay. Full kicker. Ha. So like someone who's uh, kicking fools like me. Playing on difficulties like this. Ooh. No, that's uh, that's not funny. Ah. That's uh that's just ridiculous. I mean, okay, I'm um, using this uh, stuff right now. And steel. Light is just uh, moving on. Let's just look at that damage. I mean, I, I have. I do have a shield now, but it just uh Hmm. Maybe maybe we should just uh, complete the other quest before this one because I do not have a damn clue about how to survive this. This is just ridiculous. I'm checking if I have... Uh... If I have some... Some, some upgrades. But no. It seems like no. So... Let's just um let's just hit the other quest. And get some experience. Now thank you, um, dear genie. Ah, we have a face portal here. Let's try this one. Um, what's, uh, what is this? Okay, this is uh, this is something that I uh, haven't encountered before. So I'm not sure what should I expect. Which is, uh, which I have mixed feelings about. Because I'm uh, I'm excited and also scared at the same time. Uh, something tells me that uh, you shouldn't stand in the, the purple stuff. So purple stuff is never good for you. Looking really great. If you ask me, but it's uh, so, ah, aha. So now, oh, if you if you catch these uh, this little golden stuff, you will get uh, you will get money, <laughs> but you'll so die because uh, they lead you. Or you will get damaged. Great. Going to turning off the cap. Just uh, 
simple fashion choices. I do want to get all this um these lighty stuffs with the gold. So, so we can go. Your pet is These tentacles are hurting my pet. It's not really nice of them. It's just transforming my pet into something random, like a bony. For soon. It's for fun. Eesh. That was close. Or the goal. Yeah, the glee for those. we have an exit but I'm pretty sure that is more here and we are here for the exploration and the adventure so you're not leaving without these at all aha best coming I'm not sure it was it was greed or uh, like over enthusiasm but hopefully we can uh, complete this because I am curious. Swirling discs trying to keep us away, but you won't because I want to. What's going on? What's inside? Yeah, yeah, please, please, no, use the potion, use the potion. I'm not sure what's the what's the right you know rhythm C can you call it the rhythm yeah oh okay do I start now no no that was a bad idea bad idea bad idea 
Hmm. But still, still there's a way. Yeah, but if I come out, that's over. And I do not have potions. I burned a lot of potions, but still got some money. From this portal, which is nice. I'm not sure what to what to do. Because it's going in circles. And you cannot um like uh, cannot damage them. Hmm. Okay, I, I'm going to leave the, the portal. It's going to get close, but Yeah, after like uh all these years I encountered something in this game that I haven't seen before. Which is, I have to say, this is one of the reasons I, I love this game so much. Because uh, it's like 10 years old now, it's getting 10 years old, and still, still have something to offer, some fresh things to offer. Which, uh, not much of the older games or even the newest games uh, will offer you in uh, in less than 10 years, trust me. reasons I do not play AAA games anymore. They are just not that fun anymore, fortunately. the last like I don't know five years I'm all up for for indie games most of the time all, all, all just indie games I know I know that um, Torchlight 2 is technically not um, it's not indie technically or not sure but um, the only AAA game, if it's AAA at all, I'm playing, I played in the last few years is uh, Final Fantasy XIV, which is um, AAA in MMOs, I, I, I guess, but yeah, the, just, uh, the closest game to the AAA game I played, like, uh, Luigi's uh, Mansion on Switch, which is um, for some reason I, I do not uh, count Nintendo games as uh, AAA games. Maybe this is my uh, only in my perspective, but they are really different for me, at least. So anyways, just uh, circling back to the game. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention that um, that if you if you like my streams and uh, don't want to miss out, uh, you can always hit follow. Um, because in this case, you can check my schedule. You will also get a notification uh, when my stream is going to uh, get online. 
uh, I'm going to stream occasionally on weekends besides uh, the, the two fixed days, the two fixed weekdays. But uh, you will get notified as well. It's I know schedule is uh, an important thing. And uh, I also have, have one, or some. It's the more accurate way to say this. So yeah. I know, of course, if you want to support, you can find my coffee link. Uh, my channel below and of course uh, the subscription is an option which uh, does not have too much perks right now but I'm working on it to have um, I'd like to make some uh, pixel art emotes that um, can be used on the channel and also if you are just simply watching Stayed enough. So, no worries. Some serious guys ahead. Uh, Barandal. One is casting the seeking bolts. That is a uh, some serious threat. And of course, sounds like uh, someone from Tolkien's mythology, Barandal, you can like an uh, elf or um, hmm. not specifically an elf. more like uh, yeah it's uh, it's it's more like a um, it's a joker name because Baranda can be an elf Baranda can be a dwarf so it's good there. Also going to hit the nearly the end of this uh, today's stream because uh, I'm mostly aiming for like uh, the two-hour streams per day, stream day. Of course, in the weekends if uh, the time is okay for that, uh, I can pull out like three hours plus, two two and a half hours plus, three, three hours plus, but. Eight days. It's uh, two hours tops. And as we as we progress in the story, things are getting more difficult. So, so it needs uh, bigger concentration. That's why I'm destroying these pillars. Because I would have uh, easily just uh, passed them, but uh, sometimes I cannot resist a good right click um, spamming, holding down, good right click. Of 
some reason, it seems like we cannot use the, the portal scroll from here. Which is not good, because we only have five potions left. And we died. Um, some, some unexpected way. We get killed. Be welcome. Okay, I'm selling all these. Just to max out on potions. Let's give another try for the another realm portal is uh, tricked me because uh, some reason I thought this is an open portal of ours that we can go on but no we can't seems like we can't but the good thing is that um, level 35 is almost here which is a solid Four levels today. It's good. trying to nuke them here from here but because uh we really don't want to get uh, some some surprise one hits just like before so maybe it's easier from here Managed to hit me once. Okay, level up. 